Welcome back to the channel everybody. Pocket Rocket Garage is back again with another video on the restoration of the Rover Mini Cooper Sports Pack. Now in case you're wondering, this is a microphone. It's not a giant fly on my t-shirt. It's a new microphone, I've got it all set up now. I've got the camera repaired and it's working a treat. It should make the videos a lot clearer and, and cancel out some of the excess noise you get in the background and road noise. Today's video will be a, a good test to see if it is working well. And I have to remember to stop shouting. I've got to break that habit now. This should make it a lot easier. Today's video is really just a catch up because I've been away from the garage last weekend. I didn't get a video out. I was busy doing some other things. And sometimes you can't get them done as much as you want to. And I'm gonna be looking at possibly trying to get a video out now, realistically, every two weeks. And that way the content will be better for each video being a two week gap because I'll get more done. Because I'm still working on parts like the intake manifold and spraying parts, which I've done in videos previously, but I'm getting there. So bear with me, you know what it's like. I finally managed to get the paint to stick to some of the brackets that I did in previous videos. I have to hold my hands up. I was using the wrong product to clean the metal down. But I'll go into that in detail, just to help anyone else. You know, I made the mistake, but it will help you guys and girls. If you want to do the same thing, at least you won't make the same mistake as well. So this will help you out. I've made the mistake, but it's great for you because now you'll know exactly how to do it with no problems and get a cracking result. Because these brackets in black now look killer. Something else I did get for my birthday a couple of weeks ago was the number plates to go up on the garage wall. They're really great and they're only for show, but if you've got your own garage or, or your own YouTube channel, get some made up, they look great. <laughs> How smart are these? Now the small text at the bottom, I've got lovely cuppa here from a cup of tea. And what I always finish a video with is see you on the next one. These are gonna be a great addition to the garage and will look really good. Unfortunately, someone is digging up the pavement outside, so you'll have to bear with the video. I'm hoping it doesn't come across too loud. I want to chat to you about the brackets that I finally got to work because the paint wouldn't stick on the first attempt. Now, they look absolutely killer in satin black. Now, the first time I painted them, I'm going to hold my hands up. I was chatting to a few of the guys. I used white spirit to clean down the metal. Ugh. Now, I've done it before on other parts and it's worked fine, but for some reason it didn't work and the white spirit must have left an oily residue. Now, when I primed them, I knew something wasn't right because I could literally scratch the primer off with my fingernail. Now, now that I've done it properly, and what I used was, on the metal, before I did anything else, I used clutch and brake cleaner and I used latex gloves so I didn't get any oil from my fingers onto the part and the primer is absolutely stuck on there, etch primer, really bit into the metal and it's perfect base for now the satin black. So again, even though I'm touching these now, before I go and put satin black on them, which I'll show you in the spray booth, I, um, I will use rubber gloves and clean them down again with brake and clutch spray. Now, exciting news, I've upgraded the spray booth. It's a lot bigger now. When I get the camera on it, you're gonna be really impressed. I've got some hanging areas to put these brackets on. So we'll jump on that now. Let's get the satin black. We'll spray these parts because this is the part that goes on to the inlet manifold on top and then the air box sits on that. So this has got to be sprayed satin black and cured before I carry on rebuilding that, which I'll also show you. Um, so yeah, let's go for it. Here is the upgraded spray booth. Now, I do laugh, but it does a great job when I take it outside. It protects the patio and, and anything else, and really it just catches all the overspray and everything um, I need it to do. It just gets all the overspray in it and, and excess paint, so it, it's really good. Um, I've got some little hanging bits here, so I've got two more parts to do fully. This part only needs one more coat in satin black, and again, at the moment, it's so warm that they dry and bake off really well in the sun, so it's perfect time to do it. Um, a lot of the bolts that I had didn't have rust on them, they were just gone really sort of flat and didn't look very clean. Um, so I did polish them up, but obviously, polish them up, then they're gonna just be prone to surface rust. So I actually, again, used brake and clutch cleaner uh, thoroughly, um, and then I used the etch primer 
and the satin black has taken to them really well. You can't scratch it off or anything. It, it will last a long time. Um, and the same with these parts. Brake and clutch cleaner on the metal, then etch primer, let that bake off. I've not flattened it down because of what it is. They're only engine parts. Uh, and then a good couple of coats of satin black, leave them in the sun and yeah, they just bake off really well. Like I say, make sure you wear uh, latex gloves if you can because it stops any oils from your hands getting onto the metal, which then again, a bit like what I use with the white spirit, big mistake. Um, it just, the paint can't adhere to the metal because there is a thin layer of oil there, which can cause massive problems and reactions to paint. So just a couple of tips there for you. I'm sure if you're watching the channel, you've seen bits like this before, but it's worked for me really well and I've gone through the process of getting it wrong. So it just might help you if you're watching if you're going to do any parts yourself. Let's take the spray roof outside now. I'll probably put some music on and time lapse because of the noise outside and that way you can see me just spraying them in satin black and I'll leave them out there in the sun. Let's go. So before we do any painting let's just clean these parts down once again with some brake and clutch cleaner to get rid of any dirt or contamination. I left these painted parts to go off for a couple of days just to be sure and they are definitely done this time. The paint is not going anywhere. The satin black looks absolutely fantastic. So just a big shout out to everyone that gave me some advice on the paint prep because it's paid off and they do look epic. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the camera in to give you a close up. Then I'm going to do a few other bits. We're going to put some fixings together and actually put the ignition module onto the modified bracket which I did a few videos ago. Then I'll get the inlet manifold, finish that off with the top bracket, and then I need to paint a couple more parts. So I might do that in time lapse really fast and do the whole process in one go. Let's crack on. Austin's gone back inside now to watch YouTube, probably Alex Toon's mini channel because he's got a Mark 1 Cooper S. 
pocket rocket garage isn't quite there yet but it did help me mount the ignition module onto the original bracket that I obviously modified with the go faster speed holes and it looks absolutely stunning even though it'll be hidden away in the engine bay I'm really pleased with this part onto the intake manifold now now although I did put a video up of me cleaning this I don't think anyone watched it because the ratings of the video are not very high at all but I gave it a huge clean, I dusted out with some, with some air, micro air duster spray, I cleaned out all the sensors, washed everything, got it as clean as I can, all the parts are still original, the only parts I now need to replace are the injector holding brackets, these little clips, because they're just a bit too rusty, and for what they cost I can get them brand new, and it will just make it a lot easier. This is the satin black part that I've sprayed. This actually sits on top of the um, throttle body and this holds on the air box. Now I just need to undo one of the bolts I've put on, put this in place. I can then put the front rail on and the injectors. Let's do that now. I think you'll have to agree this looks absolutely stunning for an original part and I like the fact that it's all the original bolts it's the original parts just cleaned up a bit of satin black on this part here and it looks stunning the only problem is most of it's going to be hidden by the airbox anyway but the addition to this will be the fuel lines that run to the injector the fuel rail is I'm just going to paint these also in satin black because the original zinc coating is mainly worn away with a quite a bit of just very light surface rust so I like to do things properly, you know, I hold my hands up. I do spend a bit of time doing it because it's something that I like to do. And if you're going to do something, you might as well do it properly. just received my British Mini Day ticket through the post. It's Himley Hall next weekend. That's the 1st of August on the Sunday. Now I've met loads of people through the YouTube channel, which is really great. I can't wait to meet some of you on the day. If you see me, come and say hello. I'll be wearing the Pocket Rocket Garage t-shirt in black. You can't miss me because it's the only one in existence. Now I can't wait to see some of your cars, see what they look like, see what you've done because I've got so many decisions to make with my car, whether I go for a retro look, or keep it the 90 sports pack look. So that should help me out with lots of decisions and I can get some more ideas of what I'm gonna do. Now, if you are watching the channel and you're liking the videos, please subscribe to the channel. If you click on the little bell, you'll get a notification when the latest video is uploaded. Now, Pocket Rocket Garage has only been going for a short amount of time, but I'm almost at 500 subscribers. That's pretty decent. I'm really pleased with that. So thank you to everyone that's subscribed so far. If I don't see you at Himley Hall next week, I'll see you on the next one.